we compute simple linear regression line for um, a data set with five observations. X is 1, Y is 3. For the next observation, 2 and 7, 3 and 5, 4, 11, and then 5, 14. Um, summation. I'll take you through um, the calculations just like it is in your book in terms of the columns presented. Uh, so I have all those correct column headings as your book shows in Table 12.2. Let's look at the computations. Summation is for x, 15, so mean x value is 3. Summation for y is 40. Divide by 5 to get mean y value to be 8. x minus x bar. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus 3 is 1. And 5 minus 3 is 2. y minus its y um, its uh, average y value. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. 7 minus 8 is negative 1. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. 11 minus 8 is uh, 3. And 14 minus 8 is 6. x bar X, bar, x minus x bar column, which is this column right here, times y minus y bar column, which is this column here. Negative 2 times negative 5 is 10. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 0 times negative 3 is 0. 1 times 3 and 2 times 6. Summation of this column is 26. Then we uh, compute x minus x bar column squared. Here is the x minus x bar column. C square each entry. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. 0, 1, and 4. Summation is 10. Your book says b sub 1 is summation of x minus x bar times y minus y bar which in this case is 26, divided by summation of x minus x bar column squared, which in this case is 10. So b sub 1, or the slope, is 2.6. Now compute um, uh, b sub 0. Your book formula says y bar minus b1 minus b1 times x bar. y bar, we compute it to be 8, minus b, b sub 1, we compute it to be 2.6, times um, x bar, which we compute it to be 3. So we get 8 minus 7.8, which is 0 0.2. So we have um, y hat, or the estimated y value, to be 0 0.2 plus 2.6 times x. Now if you input for x 4, then y hat is equal to 0 0.2 plus 2.6 times 4, times 4, uh, it doesn't look right, 2.6 times 4, so we get 10.6 as the estimated y value when x is 4.